Hello Unique Device, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel and find this video so useful, please kindly subscribe to my channel. And for the returning subscribers, it's good to have you guys back here. You are the bomb. Alright, for this training, I'll be teaching you this wonderful design. Stay tuned. These are the materials needed for this design. Alright, first of all, you cut out these pieces for the band and this measures 42 inches length by 6 inches width 42 inches length by 6 inches width please you can iron out your material it will help you very well i'm unable to do do, do so because of power failure all right so what you'll be doing next is to sew um this is the right side and the other is the wrong side. The wrong side is facing me. So while folding your material, you make sure that the wrong, the right side is inside while the wrong is outside. The right is inside while the wrong is outside. Please, one thing you do for me on this training is to watch this video closely. If you are able to do your ironing, do so. It will help you. To do this design very neat and fast too so i'm using my pin to hold it down because i didn't iron out so I mean, it's giving me a little bit stress right so you, you use your pin to hold down but if you're able to fold without holding the pin is to go on you get your scissors to trim this edge once you know that the two edges have been aligned together you move your pin then use your scissors trim it off just give it a slant a slant cut as i just did now all right please watch everything i'm doing very closely so you pick every step i take use a pin to hold it down take your sewing machine and you sew the way i'm showing you sew the edges down down but please when you get to the center of this fabric to the center of this material you give an opening where you do turn out at the center you leave an opening where you do turn out then another material we're cutting out is for the base which measures 25 inches length by 20 inches width 25 inches length by 20 inches width all right then the lining may just same thing this is lining so i got a matching color for for this design so what you'll be doing is to get your pin to pin down. This is the right side and this is the wrong side. So this right side will be facing up. I don't know if you get it. The right side will be facing up. Then the lining will be on top of it. Then use your material, use your pin to pin down. Use it to hold it. Please iron out, iron out. I plead with you. I don't really have light in my area. That's why I'm just doing the training this way. But please iron out. You see the difference when you iron it out. So use your pin to hold the edges. Next material we'll be cutting out is 20 inches length by 4.5 inches width. 20 inches length by 4.5 inches width. That is four pieces. This material will be used for the design. So why folding? Why sewing? Please. You fold in the right side while the wrong side will face you. Then you sew the edge as I show you now. So I'm done sewing the whole material. So you can see this. I just sewed three sides and left the end. The end that I left is that part that made just 20 inches. I sew one side of 20 inches and the two sides of 25 inches. And one side of 20 inches, I didn't see it. That's why I used to turn out this material. So we're using the, your scissors to unfold, to bring out the edge where you see. Once you are done with this, if you still have light, iron out. Or use the manual method to iron it out. So it will be very neat. So the next material... Is for the band. I left an opening at the center for turning out. Then I use my scissors to trim out the edges of that swim part. That mouth, that part is for the handle. 
That's why you use an tie for the cat base. So I will be using my lighter. My lighter to hem the edges of this material. The reason is this. After cutting out the face or satin material, you notice that um, the materials are pulling off. So the best way to hold it down is using your lighter. Alright, that will be turning out now. Please watch every step I take. So I'm turning out and I'm, I'll use my scissors to, to pull out the remaining materials inside. Whatever I do on this end, I will do same thing to this end. You understand? Alright. After doing this, proce this procedure, still iron out. Iron out your material. This edge... Don't sew it, just leave that place you use for turning out. Then for these four materials for the designs, I will use my pin, my, my safety pin to pull it out. Use it to turn it out. I will still use this method to turn out the remaining three. So, you turn out once you are done turning out, you can still iron. And please don't forget to use your lighter to hem the edges of the material. Remember what I told you about the face or bridal satin. Right, I'm done turning everything out. And I'll set this aside. Next thing to be done is to attach this band to the base. So, you know, I've turned out the base and the back side being the lining part. What I will do is to mark two inches throughout. So, take your shock with a measuring tape and mark two inches, two inches throughout. You mark it down to the end so you do this repeatedly throughout the material two inches two inches that's how you mark it down so I can, as you can see i'm done marking out two inches throughout you see it all aligned together so next thing to do is we'll take it to my sewing machine and sew but i'll show you here on how to sew first of all you bend down you bend the material you fold it you fold it don't forget to iron your material please so you fold as i'm doing i'm just using my pin so it to give you a clearer look of what i'm doing so you continue to fold and use your pin to hold it down this part you are holding down is where you will sew and get your sewing machine Get your sewing machine, you sew that edge down, sew it down. I'm going to do this same process to throughout this fabric. Yes, all these marked parts. You do same. Please sew the wrong part, which is the lining part. So I'm done sewing. If you look out, you see how it is. See, this is the back, that lining part that I see, you can see it. And this is the front, you can see how it is. Alright, so you get your this base and fold it in two. Want to locate the center. You fold, use your scissors to notch the center. So you mark out the middle. Then remember I told you not to sew this place using turning out in the band. So just fold. You fold the material the way it is. As I'm folding now, you fold it then. Use your scissors as well. Please make it to be equal. Use your scissors as well and notch that center. You notch it. Alright, so after doing this, you take the band and attach to the base, center to center. Look for that notched part on the on the base, then align it to the band. Use your pin to hold it so it won't pull out. 
That's what you do throughout. You use a pin to hold it down before I take it to the sewing machine. So you take it to the sewing machine and you sew. Alright, I'm done doing my see the back. See the back. You can remove your pin after sewing. Then see the front. Alright. That's how it looks. So the next thing you do is just trim off that middle part where you didn't sew and use your lighter to hem the edge. Just as I'm doing. Then the next step you take is to fold this material. Please, once you fold this cap base, you ensure that this place is equal, that edge that they are equal. Then you count to one, that first plate is one. Then from that second plate, you use your pin to hold it down. Hope you saw what I just did now. Then use your pin to hold the back because I want to curve the back. I want to curve it. So use the scissors to form a curve at the back of the cap base, just as I did now. So take it to your sewing machine and you sew down. Please, see where you start. You, you leave the first pleat and start from the second. Start from the second. Start from the second to sew. See what I just did. Look at it. I started from the second pleat and I sew down. Leave that top part. All right, so I remove my pins. I remove my pins. And don't forget to use your lighter to hem the edges as you draw. It will give it a very smooth look. All right, so the um, next thing we'll be doing now is to look at what we just did. You can see how it is. Please, in case you forget any pin, remove the pin. Remove it from the card base. So, you can see the outlook, you can see the front view, right? And this back is for tying. Remember, this material is not stretched, that's why we added handle. So, you turn out your material. Once you're done doing that, you collect your chalk, take your chalk to mark the center. Use your chalk to mark the center. Once you're done with that, use a needle and thread to form your plates please watch closely the way i'm forming my plates watch very close the way i'm forming my plates you take your needle down and pull it up very close to that part you put down you do same here please watch closely So I've reached the tip of the cap base and you pass through just the same way I'm doing. Then you drag, you drag. See, check out the face of, as in the front view of the cap. That's how it is. So just adjust the way I'm doing. You can see the plate has already formed, right? All right, so you turn the cap base again as in you turn it inside so you'll be able to do your finished work so you pass it through the middle of the plates you pass it through the middle of the plates and you pass again then you tie and cut out your needle all right this is the front and this is the back you can see how it is so a cap base is ready. You can also use your needle to form gathers. I will show you what I mean. Do a running stitch at the back if you want. So it's optional. The reason why I wouldn't do mine is because people that normally carry full hair, 
this is the best help, the best car base for them. So I've placed it on my dummy head so you see how it looks. See the back view. If it's too full, what you just do is use your hand to pleat it at the back when you tie it on your head. You tuck it in at the back and it will still look good. Alright. So the next thing to do is over to our designs. Remember I told you you can iron this out. And I'm holding um, crinoline. This is crinoline. It measures 2 inches. We have different sizes of crinoline, but I'm using 2 inches crinoline. I will start inserting it inside this material, one after the other. So just watch what I'm doing. Alright, I'm done inserting the crinoline. Next thing to do is take your sewing machine if you like. You sew this together. You understand? But if you don't like, you can do what I will just what I will do now. You fold and locate the center. When you hold it together, then you locate the center of this and form a bow. You form a bow. You take your needle and thread and form a bow. So you saw what I just did now. You use the thread to tie it very tight. Tie it very tight. So it will hold the center of that material. Then you pass your needle and thread and tie. You knot the center. Please, this procedure is same thing you do to the remaining materials. This same thing I just did now. This is what you do to the remaining three fabrics all right i'm done as you can see the outcome all right i'll start attaching them to each other just watch the procedure i'm doing it mustn't take this process but you know with bows you can form any design you want but you can still do this exact design or you can place on top of each other you can form on top of each other and form another design but this is the way I will do this particular design, okay? So you take the one after the other and you tack, you tack together. After tacking when you are done, you knot your thread and cut out with scissors so let me place that design on my dummy head and know the best shape it will give us so you know where to tack with the dummy head it gives you a shape of my head and gives you the exact place where to tack the design So I'll pull it out from the dummy head and start tacking immediately. That's what I'm doing. Once you locate the, the, the place, the spot you want to do your tacking, you tack the design down to the cap base. And after doing that, that remaining piece, that remaining piece, you also tack the way I will do now. Alright, so when you tack and you see that it's firm, just knot your needle and thread and cut out your needle, your thread, rather. Alright, so um, next thing I'll be doing is to place it on my dummy head so I will see the position and the way it looks. 
remember I told you that <laughs> there's power failure in my area and I'm using the manual method. I used my lighter to melt my candle gum and I rubbed it at the center of this place. Then you hold firm. Please support that candle gum. Hold it firm so it will dry immediately. You've seen the design, gave it to the center. It has covered that center. So I will also rub under this front part. So I'll be able to cover up some rough edges there. You hold it down just the way I'm doing. That's what I'm doing now. You hold it down with your hand. Please hold it firm. Hold it firm. Apply pressure there. So do same thing you did in the front. Do it to this back part. You rub your candle gum. Use your hand to cover the under. Use it to cover it up so, the, so it will be very neat. So this outcome, please note, you can use any material of your choice. Non-stretching material and color material to get this design. You can also use a poly material to get this design. Just that the base can change. But... It, you mustn't be use only doll face or brighter satin to get this. But any material of your choice can serve. Alright, you can get three means and stones, appliques to design just the way I'm showing you. You know, it's all about creativity. Alright, you can also cut out some stones and rub on that bow part. You can rub with your candle gum. You can use your candle gum or your UHQ gum. Alright, thank you. Thank you.